Hello! In today's how-to video, we're going to be talking about the monkey's fist. Now, the monkey's fist is technically a stop knot because at the end of a line, it's running and then it'll get to the end and it'll stop it from passing through whatever it's being used in. Now, monkey's fists nowadays are more often used as decorative knots, as found by this monkey's fist that I found at my parents' house. Another use for the monkey's fist is dog toys. One of the most important uses of a monkey's fist is weight. So a monkey's fist puts a lot of weight in a really small package at the end of a line. So the idea is you tie a monkey's fist to the end of the line you're trying to toss and you can toss a monkey's fist with a really thin line as a messenger line ahead. You toss that to the pier, they grab it and then they can pull the dock line or the mooring warp all the way into shore and pull your boat in. Now from that use comes the idea of putting something really heavy inside of this. The idea is the more massive you make this, the more it'll carry itself. The problem is you need to remember that there is a human who's going to be receiving this at the other side. And if it's not a human, there's objects in the area. When they talk about adding a rock or all sorts of weights inside, you want to remember what you're going to be using this for and who's going to be on the receiving end because you don't want to hurt anyone or anything by throwing a rock at something. You'll also see them used in situations where you have uh, soft shackles and you use this as a stop knot so you'll pass it through the soft shackle and if you want to have the most complicated soft shackle knot you can use a monkey's fist. When it comes to an ornamental knot the monkey's fist is quite pretty. So let's go over how to tie a monkey's fist. Most knots if you look at them are actually two-dimensional they're flat. A monkey's fist is three-dimensional, so that means that there's this dimension, this dimension, and this dimension. So if you just set it straight, you'll see you have wraps that go straight across, this way, and through it as well. For example, one of the most common knots that people think of when they think of a knot is the square knot. And a square, by definition, is a two-dimensional geometric object. To tie a monkey's fist, the first thing you want to do is make some mass inside that'll give you something to tie to. So here we have a bulky core that'll act as our center of the knot. It's important to remember with a monkey's fist, you're making a three-dimensional knot. So it's really bulky and it runs this way, this way, and up and down as well. So it runs X, Y, and Z. So I like to just hold this on the side, get it out of the way. So I'll just put it between my pinky and ring finger. And then I can wrap nice big wide wraps. That way they're not in the way and I have more room to work. Now you want to tie it nice and loose at first because a loose knot lets you kind of push it around that way you can get it where you need it and actually tie it. At the end you're going to tighten everything up so you don't have to worry about making it tight nor pretty right now because you'll work work on all that in just a moment. So we have three wraps it looks like four but just remember at the bottom this one's going to hide inside. So you have three wraps as you can see. Now, if you mess up a little on how many wraps it is on each one, don't worry, it's really not that noticeable. If you do something like six on one side, two on the other, then you know that's a bigger issue. But if they vary by one, one dimension to the other, it's not that big a deal. So you have three wraps here, one, two, three. So now we're going to go this way. So I'm just going to put this guy inside here and we'll begin the wrapping. So I personally like to put a finger above and below just to kind of hold everything in place and keep it all nice and organized. And then the third. So now you have one, two, three, and you flip it over and three as well. 
And it kind of looks like we're ending up with four on this other one. Even though we're not, because that's going to tuck inside. So this fourth one here that I had, we're just going to push that inside and make it three. And we'll just add that to the balk that's going to be inside the knot. So now the last step is going to be in the dimension that my fingers are running. So you have this way, this way, now you're going to go this way. Okay. So there we have a very rough and very loosely tied monkey's fist. And if you look, you have three on each side. Everything is uniform there. So we should be ready to go. Now, this is very loose as you can see. So it doesn't really look that pretty. What we need to do now is tighten everything up. This is the one that goes to the inside. When I pull on it, nothing else moves. So this one leads to the core. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull on it. Not too much, because you don't wanna pull the core out, but you're gonna start tightening and pulling out all the slack. So that guy runs here. So you pull it down nice and tight. And you just keep going line by line. All you're doing is taking out the slack and making it nice and tight. Now, if you're not sure where exactly the line goes, pull on it. And the one that moves is the one that it's attached to, and that's the next one you're going to be tightening. So like here, I couldn't quite remember, even though I know it's this one. But is it this one or this one? Well, you pull on it. And with that, you have a monkey's fist. If you want to make a monkey's fist, I highly recommend using double braid rope. It's so much easier to work with. This rope is actually very old and it still ties quite easily. If you're working with three lay, it's going to hockle, which is where it like twists and unlays and gets kind of funky. It's just really hard to tie a monkey's fist with that. If you're going for a decorative ornamental knot, yeah, three lay will be great because that's like the most nautical and boaty looking rope for ornamental knots but if you're actually going to tie this and you want to be nice to yourself tie it in double braid fun fact the expression my money's tied up could originate from the monkey's fist so apparently people used to tie gems and things of value like their money and use that as the core inside the monkey's fist now, there's two reasons for this one it's hidden. You don't know what's inside this. So hopefully someone might not steal it because they don't think there's anything of value in there. And two, you have a second line. You can tie this to something really well and then your money's safe. It's safely attached to you and it's literally tied to you. And then lastly, if your money's in a monkey's fist, you just saw how hard these things are to tie and untie. So. You're probably not gonna just waste it on something that you really didn't need. Like you, you have your valuables tied up and you'll only take them out when you actually need them. Until then, your money's all tied up. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and message us directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.